With our CSS features today, you might think that animating CSS border length should be easy. Unfortunately, it is not. Many people come up with a hack, and the one that I see most often is using SVG and stroke dash array to animate it. However, in this video, I will show you the pure CSS method and without introducing any extra diff at all. So, ready? Let's check it out. First, let's create div for our button. Just a single div with a class. For the CSS, I will set the width and height, background color, position to relative. Then use flex display to center the text. And finally, set the cursor to pointer. Alright, the button is ready to go. Next, let's work on the border animation. Since we couldn't animate the border, we will use pseudo element instead. Set the empty content, absolute position, and place it at the top left corner by setting left and top to zero. Set the initial width and height to zero, and set the white border top. In keyframe, we'll increase the width side to 100% of the button, which is 200 pixels. And then add the animation property to the pseudo element. Looks good. Next, we will add the border right to the pseudo element and increase the height in keyframes. Set border right same as top. Then increase the height after the width. We will need to offset the top border, so the final height is 48 pixels. So far so good, we will need to do it again for the bottom and left border. I will copy code from before element and change it to after. Then replace all left and top properties with right and bottom. Almost there. Next, we will need to adjust the animation so that the bottom and left border start playing after the top and right animation. I will adjust the keyframes so the animation happen on the first half and stay like that on the second half. And we'll do the opposite for another one. Looks good. Now there is a slight problem. We we'll still see a tiny dot due to the border property, even though we already set the width and height to zero. To fix this, we'll set the opacity to zero, and then change it to one when the border animation start. We'll need to add a small keyframe to prevent the animation tween of the opacity value. And here's the final result. I also added some hover effect and box shadow. You can find the source code at the link below. And that's all for this episode. If you love this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.